Oh. Hi. I was just uh, reading about ways to firm and burn my rear end. So, it's my secret. Anyway, um, sorry it's taken me so long to get to you guys. Last week was really rough, especially the tail end of it. I was so exhausted by, by the time Saturday came around that after my morning workout, I pretty much, no, I absolutely went home and slept the rest of the day till about 5 p.m. when I decided I was hungry again and uh, got up, got some food and rented Moneyball and just stayed put for the rest of the evening. Moneyball's a great movie. Uh, if you haven't seen it, I suggest it. I come from a softball and baseball background, so it, it hit close to home. But anyway, um, good movie nonetheless. So uh, <clears throat> Friday was a Friday morning session had had a uh, wheelhouse workout for me. It's uh, movements that I'm, I'm pretty good at, and I enjoy them. And uh, it was deadlifts and burpees every minute on the minute for 12 minutes. It was three deadlifts at 215 and six burpees. I seem to be moving fast, and uh, here's footage of that now. As you can see, I'm, I'm pretty pleased with that workout. I moved the weight pretty easily. I was moving very fast. I kept every round under 17 seconds, so that was great. And so when you pair two movements that I like plus rest, it's just like, I love that workout. So it was like almost not a workout. So it was really cool. But later on that afternoon, I had a high volume bench press. It was 10 rounds of various loads, um, ranging from 60% all the way up to 85%, maybe 90%, I believe. But lots of reps, lots of, um, lots of volume. So my press did begin to tire, go figure. So the next day when I had to do burpees and kettlebell swings yet again, and it was about a 20 minute time domain, my burpees were slow, very slow, nothing like what you just saw. So um, I didn't like burpees on Saturday, and that's probably why I slept it off the rest of the day. Um, another thing I wanted to tell you guys, uh, I've really been super struggling with some wrist issues. Um, after Coach B's a few weeks ago, it seemed to st I strained my wrist somehow, and I have I already have pretty bad flexibility, and, and a lot of people kind of dismiss it as, you know, you just need to stretch and you need to do these things. Well, I have been. <laughs> like, I do everything that I can. I've seen doctors. I've gotten x-rays. But, I mean, literally, check check out this wrist mobility. Like, this is me trying to pull back 
Let me get this in the shot as far as I can. And so now if I get some assistance from my other arm, <laughs> like that's it. That's all I have right now, which um, is pissing me off. And it makes front squats and cleans and handstand push-ups and push-ups and burpees. It makes a lot of things pretty tough. So I'm kind of struggling with, with that right now. Um, researching different things to help improve that. But um, yeah, so that's what, I, what, what I've got going on. Otherwise, I'm feeling really great about my training. I know I have a few aches and pains. And, and this wrist, while it seems really crazy how inflexible it is, I'm dealing with it, so it's it's not a, a game changer really. Um, so, anyway, that's that, and uh, hope to get back to you soon.